Welcome back to Nine Little Aussies. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm sharing with you something really different. I usually have gardening content or maybe baking something in the kitchen. And I guess I am in the kitchen and I am baking, but I am starting a new venture. And I thought, well, I'll just bring you along for the ride. And it may be of interest to someone. Maybe you've thought about doing this. Maybe you're already doing this and you have tips for me. That would be amazing. So what I am doing is I have just launched um, a little micro bakery. I'm starting pretty small, um, have a few friends and I have um, advertised it on Facebook. Today is my first day. I have been up since five baking bread for the first day of my little micro bakery. So it's a very exciting day. One of our go goals here on our little farm is to make our homestead as um, cost effective as possible and pay for itself as much as possible. And one of the ways we are doing that is I have just started baking bread and selling it here in the local community. Starting this micro bakery has been on my radar, just kind of ticking away in the back of my head for months. And I, I have been baking bread for years um, and I enjoy it. I love it. I bake bread for our family. We don't buy store-bought bread much at all anymore, unless we're on holidays or something. Um, so I've been doing that for a long time and I had had I, I also will make it as a gift for a friend or something like that. And I had had a few people suggest it to me and I thought, yeah, well, I could maybe do that, but I was just hesitant. I don't know. I just, I couldn't, um, I don't know what it is. Maybe just a little bit insecure about the idea of, um, will it work? And is my bread really good enough? And um, how will I manage it all? You know, how will I manage my time? Cause I, so I, I guess anyone who knows me well knows that I love to do things. I love to garden. I love to bake and cook food from scratch. I love to do crafty things. I love, I love all of that, but I'm not super good at being organized. <laughs> I'm just not, it's not my strong point. So I can manage, um, everything here in my home and do what I need to do. But I, it was just intimidating to me, the thought of managing a, a business with orders and more, more bread than what I usually make, of course. Um, so I just put it off and I put it off and I put it off. But I finally decided I'm just going to, I'm just going to try. I'm just going to give it my best shot and see what happens. And one of the reasons for that is just adding to being able to contribute more to the home finances. So when moving overseas has definitely been, you know, at, at those who shift continents, I have a lot of respect for you. It is a big, big undertaking and has been um, a really big expense and that's okay. We chose to do it and certainly not a complaint. I'm really glad we are here. I'm glad we're doing this. We are just having to hustle and do all that we can to get our feet on the ground and get things going here. One of the things we really wanna do is make the farm here, the little homestead, as um, self-sufficient as possible from a financial perspective. So make it give us some kind of return to be able to keep it going without having to keep pouring in a lot of extra outside income. So one way we've thought to do that is with a little farm stall at the front. The boys have been sell selling eggs and I'm going to start the bread 
and who knows maybe next spring we'll be able to have enough extra produce out the back in the gardens that we might be able to have extra to sell of veggies fresh produce we'll just see how we go we're kind of trying to pace ourselves at the same time as trying to push a little bit harder to have extra things that we can create instead of just consuming everything and the more we can sort of level up a little in that way i feel like that will hopefully that's our goal anyway is that that will help so i made the decision to start the micro bakery and then i thought okay well what am i going to bake and i did a, i did do some research and one of the things one of the triggers for this idea is i listened to a podcast um I believe it was Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone, but her podcast is called something different. Uh, what is it called? Simple, maybe Simple Farmhouse Living. I'll have to have a look. Um, but anyway, I was listening to her podcast and she interviewed a lady who actually there was sisters who started a micro bakery. I think it was somewhere up north. And I just found it fascinating, their story and really interesting and Although I hadn't really thought about the bakery side of it, I, you know, something we as a family have talked about is growing enough food to be able to um, create a small business there where we sell it to other people as well as having enough for us. So that is something we have talked about. And I just thought, well, the bakery would be using skills I already have, things I'm already doing. I bake bread every other day. Um, for our family and then the next thing that i found intimidating that i thought okay i need to so i looked into that bakery i had a look at what they were doing which they have now they've been going for a number of years and um have quite a big operation they employed people and so that is fantastic i'm i am not wanting to shoot for that at this point i just want something that i can do myself um maybe the children and i can do and it can supplement what we're trying to do here. So then I had to make the decision, what will I bake? I had several friends requesting this bread, which is the braided hulla, which I often make, you know, if I'm going somewhere and I'm asked to bring food, it's just a fun, for me, easy, straightforward thing to bring. Um, and I had several people ask me for that. So I thought, well, I'll definitely include that. But in my mind, I was thinking I would really love just to do a lot of sourdough. Um, this, this loaf is not sourdough. This is an organic loaf. I make it organically. Um, and it's, but it's made with yeast, um, active dry yeast. So this one is a sourdough, just a basic sourdough loaf. And I, so I, I think one of the reasons, honestly, that I was procrastinating with this whole thing is I was just feeling uh, worried about doing sourdough as the main um, part of the bakery because I was procrastinating so much with that. And one of the reasons is sourdough obviously is a longer process and takes more time management. And I think that's the part that I was just nervous about was timing everything and not knowing exactly how many people would be ordering and how I would manage it all. And because I'm just not great at that organizational side, I was thinking, oh, this is just, I don't know. I don't know how, if I wanna do this. So what I ended up deciding to do is I am starting with three um, three breads and they are, um, I'm making them all with organic flour and organic ingredients, but they're not sourdough. Now I am hoping that in the next week or two, as I kind of get my feet on the ground and get a little bit more confident with systems and how I will do things and get a bit more of an idea of what people want, that I will be able to do sourdough as well. Cause I make sourdough all the time for my family. The other thing about that is I have, so this bread I have been making for, and breads like it. I think Gracie was a baby, so, and she's eight. So I've been making it for about that long. And so I feel very, very com 
comfortable and confident. So sourdough I have been making for a couple of years and really, well, maybe three, maybe three years, but I would say with a lot more confidence in the last 12 months to two years, maybe. Yeah. About, uh, oh yeah, I guess it was before we moved here. So I guess a couple of years anyway, that I've been having good success with it, but there are still times that happens to me when, and I think it's really my starter. I've got to manage my starter. There are times when I do a loaf and I'm like, oh, okay. It's, I mean, it's edible. It's okay. It's fine, but it's not really light and fluffy like, like this one is. So this one worked beautifully. And that little bit of discrepancy on, um, on how it turns out, whereas this one is just consistently boom, boom, boom. It always comes out the same. It's like, um, yeah. And part of that is just my level of experience and where I'm up to in my baking journey, I suppose, because we all learn and grow and get better as we go, hopefully. So the reason I am sharing all of that, I mean, I feel a little vulnerable to be very honest with you sharing that, but I, when I was looking online, of, okay, how do you start a micro bakery? How, what does this look like? And how do I go about it? There really wasn't a lot out there. I did find what the one article on the um, website of um, the sisters that I listened to the podcast with was really good and it definitely was helpful, but I still had a lot of questions. So my hope is that anyone who might be looking to start a micro bakery, if I share my little experiences as I go along starting mine, then perhaps that can be of some help to someone else. One of the things that the um, sisters talked about on the podcast was that there is a real upsurge in people starting micro bakeries at the moment, which I think is fabulous for the local food economy. And what we need is more local food, more food being grown and um, baked and sold in the local area without traveling vast distances. So hopefully this little venture will not only help our family financially as we get our feet on the ground. Hope I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. This is just a an attempt, I guess. Um, you never know when you start something, if it's going to fly or if it's going to just be short-lived or fizzle out. My hope is that it will fly, but I will keep you posted. I will let you know the trials I go and the um, the good and the bad, the ugly. Um, I'm going to try and give an honest, um, open assessment of how things go. I feel like um, that maybe that might help someone else who might be in this situation. So if you have any experience with a micro bakery, with a home business even possibly, where you're selling local produce and you have ideas or you know, things not to do, things to do. I am very open. Put your um, comments down below in the comments section and I will I will take that on board. I will hear that because this is, um, this is new to me. So as I said, I'm gonna start with the breads that um, I have listed and I put them up on and advertise them on a local Facebook page that I started, Nine Little Aussies. And um, we'll keep doing that every week hopefully adding new items some sourdough and artisan loaf hopefully soon in the future also um, thinking about doing some cookies and um, maybe a dessert i don't know or a little mini dessert got a few ideas so i'm gonna have a think about it and try to continue to add a few more things but at a pace that i can handle as i slowly adjust to adding this into my workload um, you know, it's a busy house here with um, a house full of kids and trying to grow the homestead, the gardens, um, the paddocks, the pastures, and a lot of infrastructure. We have to put in place a lot of infrastructure. So we're trying to get that going. Um, my husband works a lot of hours. And then right now he, he comes home, like he worked this morning. It's a Saturday right now. And he worked this morning, came home, 
we sat and had a nice little cup of coffee and now he's off again working I, I can hear the chainsaw going so he's probably out there chainsawing um, getting ready to do some more fencing so there's always something going on and you add into that homeschooling and I know that my schedule is pretty full, but I am really excited about doing this. And I know we can always do more than we think we can. You know, it's like when you have children or when you, when you have a baby and you're like, oh my goodness, this one little baby is taking up all of my time and how in the world would I ever have time for two? And then you have another one and somehow it, you just adjust. And then you have another one and somehow you just adjust. And every time, you know, we, we have seven children and by the time we had the seventh and people would say to me sometimes like, how do you manage it? How do you have time? And I'm like, well, you just get one at a time and you kind of figure it out. And then all of a sudden it's not a big deal. So <laughs> my, my takeaway from that is hopefully my little bakery will be like that. It's my little baby right now. And I'm in the adjustment phase and hopefully we will, um, we will all adjust and it will uh, settle in and, and be a success. That's what I'm hoping. So hopefully our little bakery here and maybe any farm produce we get to sell as well in the coming seasons will not only benefit us, but be a benefit to the community. That is certainly our hope and prayer and that we can use this to build community here and be able to, um, you know, we can't do everything. So there's also the opportunity for trading and bartering. There are some things we don't do especially yet maybe we won't ever do i don't know um but right now we have bread and we have eggs and soon and we have we do have groceries we do have uh vegetables probably not in excess enough at this very moment to be able to sell but hopefully in the coming seasons that might work out as well we'll see i'll keep you posted Thank you for joining me in my little farmhouse kitchen today and my little bakery. I will let you know how things go over the coming weeks. I'll probably just check in every now and then and let you know how things are going with the bakery. Today was our first day and I was really, um, really grateful and happy for how it went. We had, I feel like it was a really good number of orders, but not too many to where that I was stressing. But a good number, I had a lot of support from friends and local people. Some people I don't know that responded to um, the Facebook ad and well, not it wasn't a paid ad, just a Facebook post is what it was. Um, and also that had my friends had shared and a few referrals from that. So thank you friends and family. Um, but yeah, we will, I think today went well. I think it went well. I didn't have any major hiccups. I didn't burn any bread. I didn't, and I had it all done before people arrived, which was another thing I was a little bit like, okay, can I get this all organized? And yeah, it seemed to work out okay. So hopefully um, we will continue to have that success and hopefully it will grow. And please let me know in the comments below if you have any experience with this. I would be really thrilled to, um, to have your input. All right, I will see you again soon. Sunshine and raindrops. Until then.